Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is Makeup Bag Monday, week number 62. Makeup Bag Monday is a weekly makeup series where I review makeup products, new and old, to test out for an entire week, update you each week on whether or not I still enjoy the products, love the products, hate the products, with swatches and demos of how the products worked and performed throughout my life for an entire week. Before we get started, last week I hid a little Instagram giveaway in my Makeup Bag Monday. So I'm giving away the entire PR set of the Pop Beauty Lip sticks, lip glosses. Um, if you want to see the exact price, make sure you check out last week's video. But the winner for today is going to be Love Makeup and Beauty on Instagram. Shermaine, congratulations on winning your Pop Beauty lippy set. If you want a chance for more giveaways, make sure you check out my monthly videos where I do a huge monthly giveaway to my subscribers and newsletter readers. Um, that giveaway is in my New in Beauty each month, so New in Beauty for April is still going on currently. And of course, make sure you stay till the end of this video for another little bonus Instagram giveaway. Okay, so as you can probably tell from the title of this video, last week was a bit of a fail. And it was such a fail that I didn't even bother wearing the products from last week that I didn't like in today's video. I'm pre-filming. So I did not like Savvy Minerals from Young Living whatsoever. Let's just talk about it. I'll tell you why as I go through each product. I have never been so disappointed in spending, I think I spent like $170, including shipping and handling, on the Savvy Minerals starter kit. And it was such a waste of money, and I wish I could return it, but I can't. Um, so let's just get started, and I'll show, I'll explain to you why I really didn't like all of that stuff, and then I'll talk about some of the stuff I did like, which was not Savvy Minerals. Ugh. So let's talk about the Savvy Minerals Mineral Powder Foundation. I mentioned last week where I felt like it was kind of a half-assed way of copying Bare Minerals back in the heyday. When you read the directions for Savvy Minerals, and I'm sure I'm going to get like such hate because there's some ride or die savvy minerals people out there because of Young Living. And if you guys don't know the whole story is Young Living has a lot of other different aspects other than essential oils. They have like a lot of household stuff, which I truly love, a lot of skincare stuff, which some stuff I'll look and I see that they have alcohol in it and I won't buy it. I'm currently testing out the Orange Blossom Cleanser and I do like that. They also have Savvy Minerals, which is their makeup line. And I'm a part of a Young Living Facebook group because I do purchase Young Living uh, essential oils. I used to purchase it as a customer and then I became a wholesale member. So I am also a distributor because I'm a wholesale member. So you can buy Young Living essential oils through me. I can make commission off of Young Living. I personally just spend a lot of money buying essential oils for myself and for my household. And I also buy their Ningxia Red and I also buy a lot of like their household items like the laundry detergent. I like their Thieves cl Cleanser, all-purpose cleanser. So I wanted to try Savvy Minerals because the Facebook group I'm a part of raves about it. I looked at it and I was hesitant because I was like, you know, nowadays I review products literally for a few years now as my full-time job. So I can usually tell if I'm going to like something, but I was like, you know what, let's just give it a shot. So I ordered it. I bought it. I Bought it at, I think, the kit price, which after shipping and handling and tax was $170 some dollars, which is really expensive in my opinion for a starter kit um, that I hate. You're told to spray the Savvy Minerals Misting Spray onto the brush or onto your face, and then you're supposed to swirl, tap, buff. Immediately when you open this up, it's kind of a mess because it doesn't have that, sh that little dial that can close off the perforated plastic. So if you throw this in your makeup bag, if you travel with it, it's just gonna be a mess because all the powder is gonna come out. And Bare Minerals was like this in the beginning as well, but they later on improved their packaging so that you can lock it. And I believe Alima Pure is able to lock as well. I have to double check my Alima Pure foundation. But most powder foundations nowadays have that locking mechanism. So when I'm paying $170, dollars, I expect this to be better in terms of just adding that little locking mechanism. When you spray this mineral misting spray, when you, or it's not mineral, when you spray this misting spray and you swirl or you buff or whatever, 
I've done it where I spray my face first and then use the brush that's dry onto there. I did it by spraying the brush and then dipping it into this thing. It creates a clumpy effing mess. It looks all clumpy and if you don't spray enough, I don't understand the purpose of it. Like I'll do really minimal spray where it doesn't even feel damp and then it just doesn't really do anything. It almost looks like I didn't wear any makeup. But then if I spray enough where it, I can kind of feel like it's building, it creates kind of a clumpy mess. It doesn't wear well. Such minimal coverage, and I like minimal coverage. You guys know I love less is more. Sometimes I don't even wear foundation. But when I'm putting something on my face, it needs to do something. And it's not doing anything unless I wear layer upon layer upon layer of this, which then I'm like, wow, I'm using a lot of product for minimal payoff. This is a lot of product that I'm spending money on for almost no results. And I'm okay with letting freckles and like discoloration show, but it needs to have something. Like it needs to make my skin look glowier. It needs to even out my complexion a little bit quicker or something. And I don't need heavy coverage. I'm the type of person that doesn't need that much coverage and doesn't want it. But for me to not even see a difference until I build up maybe three layers is pretty not okay in my book. Um, so if you like, if you like coverage or if you need more coverage than me, you're not gonna like this because of that. I love my Lima Pure. I just think there's so many great non-toxic, clean beauty options out there these days. And I'm okay with working with cleaner, non-toxic products. Like I know sometimes it takes a little bit of getting used to and a little bit more effort to get it to perform the way you want it to perform like conventional products, but this just isn't good. And with Alima Pure on the market, you get more product. Well, depending on the size, you get more product. It's so much more efficient. You definitely get better coverage um, with less product. And the ingredients are really good from Alima Pure. I use the pressed foundation. I did buy the loose. I haven't really used the loose one yet. 100% pure pressed powder foundation is one of my favorites. I've gone through three of those. Um, that's a little bit more expensive, but again, it's it's made out of fruit pigment and it's really, really good stuff and works really well. And, and then there's Bare Minerals. I know Bare Minerals, um, I don't know if they've taken out bismuth oxychloride yet. I don't believe so in their original formula, but unless you're allergic to bismuth oxychloride or if you have acneic skin, you can still get away with using that. And most people don't have an issue with Bare Minerals original formula. Um, I, I think maybe two or three viewers of mine have mentioned that they're allergic to bismuth oxy. There's so many options out there. This is just not cutting it. And I really think that this was like, I think a lot of people love this stuff because they drink the Kool-Aid and that's okay. That's totally fine. If it works for you, it works for you. It didn't work for me. Now, the plus side of the kit is this brush. This brush is pretty nice, but I wouldn't say it's worth spending money and placing an order for shipping and handling. If you really wanted this brush, you can get this brush like way more affordable from Sigma, from... Um, Sephora, the Sephora Pro Collection. I don't know, you can find a brush like this, but the brush is pretty decent, so they didn't cheap out there. The next product in the kit is this blush, and I have the shade, I do believe you're blushing. This is like a really pretty iridescent blush. I didn't have an issue with the blush. I just think the packaging is, again, kind of flawed because it's so easy to add that sifter these days, and it they didn't add it. Or even if you put the mesh thing, and then you put that top on the cap, there's so many solutions to this packaging and they didn't do it. So not crazy about the packaging. I could see myself just not picking this up because of that. The blush is a really pretty light pink, but do I think you need to like place a special order at Savvy Minerals just for this blush? No, you could get this blush anywhere. If you're looking for a clean blush, Eco Bella, um, Alima Pure, Kosas just came out with these blush highlight duos that are beautiful. They're pressed, they're not loose. Um, which I actually prefer. And then it comes with three eyeshadows. You can use them wet, you can use them dry, but again, packaging's kind of a mess and they could have come up with a better way. Um, I know Bare Minerals also has this kind of packaging, but I just, that's why I don't buy them. I buy the pressed stuff. I think the pressed stuff is easier to travel with. It's not as messy to use. It's not as messy to like throw in your makeup set or bag. Uh, colors are okay, not my favorite colors. Again, not anything that innovative where you can't find these shadows from Mother Bear's Handmade on Etsy, which I love and they're pressed. And I also, um, again, Eco Bella has really great eyeshadow shades and they're also really clean. 
Um, Mineral Fusion is affordable and clean, and you can get these shades pretty much anywhere that's that has toxic-free, clean eyeshadows. You can find these shades, and they can perform just as well, if not better. So the lip gloss. I don't have anything bad to say about this lip gloss either. It's not clumpy. It's not gross. It's lovely that it's clean, but I also really enjoy um, Ilia, which is clean, Bite Beauty, which is clean. Um, what else is a cleaner up? Uh, Mineral Fusion, which is a little bit more affordable and clean, Eco Bella, um, Well People, like there's just so many. So it's not anything where I'm like, I can't find the shade anywhere that performs just as good, that's toxic free and clean. So I, again, it's not worth it to me to pay for shipping, handling, or to buy the kit for this. Eco Bella, um, Well People, Ilia, all these places are available in your health healthier like detox market credo beauty or if you can't go to a detox market or credo beauty you can place an online order and typically they offer free shipping over a certain amount young living and savvy minerals do not which is a huge flaw in their system they really need to offer free shipping if you spend a certain amount and usually that's anywhere between 50 to 100 dollars so i just don't know why they can't do that um, shipping is just really really expensive this has a minty flavor so i know some people don't like that so if you are going to buy this, just know there's like a minty flavor. Those were all the fails, which was the en entire Savvy Minerals set. And then I also tested out this new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. This is pretty new to the market. When I did this last week, it wasn't available online yet. It is now currently available on It Cosmetics website. I really like this bronzer. It's very intense, so little goes a long way for me, and it's really smooth. It goes on nicely. I've been having a lot of dryness on my cheeks and jawline, so this has been working really nicely, and it works well. I think if you're looking for a nice um, matte satin bronzer, you'll enjoy this, and it works really well for um, no makeup days as well as with your makeup days, and you can definitely build this up as well. I also tested out the Beauty by Pop Sugar Making Waves Liquid Metallic Eye Color in Unstoppable. What's very unique about this formula is that when this settles, it's actually water and then pigment, and you shake it up before you use it. So when you display it or when you store it, they say to store it up like right side up, and I love it. I think it's really beautiful. It's not sticky. It's not heavy. Unlike a lot of liquid pigments, it can be a little like heavy on your lids. This goes on very, very sheer because of the water. It feels like water and pigment. You can build it up, but what I like about it is that it's just a very light, comfortable wash. And this shade that I have in Unstoppable is really pretty for every day. You can see I'm wearing it. I'm not even wearing any eyeliner because, well... I'm at the end of my lash extension, so I literally have like two lashes that are way too long sticking out. But I just thought, you know, with hotter weather and I just, I like it. I like this like just wash of shimmer and then a lot of mascara. And finally, for highlights, I was testing out my highlight collection from Becca Cosmetics. I have three, This I have Opal, I have Moonstone, and I have Prosecco Pop. So I felt like I didn't need all three in my makeup collection, but at the same time, I'm having trouble deciding which one to keep. I love Opal. It's such a staple, and I really love Moonstone. I'm wearing Moonstone today. It's a really beautiful, like, moon white kind of highlight. And with Prosecco Pop, I just feel like I literally have not gotten any use out of this, and I think it's just because it's a little bit too golden, but I feel like it might look really good if I got a tan as summer approaches. So I think I'm going to keep all three. I know I was supposed to test them out and decide which one to let go of, but I just can't because these are so beautiful. There's a reason why they are such a hot item and continuously to be um, a hot item at Sephora. I feel like it's just one of those things that it goes on beautiful. It doesn't look powdery. It gives you good pigmentation. You can do a little bit. You can build it up, and they're just they're really, really gorgeous on the skin. So I'm gonna try and use them more. I think I'm gonna try and make Prosecco Pop work for a little bit, and if it doesn't work, I'll let go of Prosecco Pop. But right now, I'm still gonna keep all three because I clearly have problems. So that's everything I tested out last week, and here are the products I'm going to be testing out for the upcoming week. A lot of new makeup. I'm testing out the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I have two shades. I have G4, uh, G plus 40, or G30. I feel like I'm G plus 40 right now. I'm testing out the new Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This 
I'm very excited about. I'm also testing out the new Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. I'm revisiting my Hourglass Hidden Concealer in Natural. It's a great dupe for the Clay de Peau one. I'm pulling out my Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette because it's kind of on its last legs. I kind of broke it, so we'll see if I can make it work for a week. I'm testing out the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I am already in love and obsessed, but I want to test it out for a full week so I can give you a really in-depth review. But immediate first impressions, um, I tested it out at Milk Studios when they launched it. It is so incredibly good. They use cannabis oil instead of beeswax, so it's 100% vegan because most non-toxic mascaras still use beeswax. It's also, the cannabis oil is very nourishing for your lashes, and it has heart-shaped fibers instead of typical fibers which are straight. So heart-shaped fibers make your lashes more voluminous and it sits perfectly on your lashes so it doesn't clump and get spidery. So really, really excited to test this out for an entire week and give you, give you my full feedback. I'm also revisiting my Hourglass Sunset Illume Sheer Tr Color Trio. This is my second one. I ha already went through one. It just got really gross, so I got a new one. I am testing out the new Dr. Jart Sisipair uh, Tiger Grass Camo Drops. I had tested out the cream that, that comes in the jar and I wasn't a huge fan of that one because it just clung to my dry patches and actually made my face look green. So I'm testing out these drops. So far I've really been enjoying these drops. So I'll check back in a week and let you guys know my final thoughts. So that is everything I'll be testing out for next week. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday for a new Makeup Bag Monday. As a thank you for staying till the end of this video, I will be announcing the giveaway I love doing these. You guys get really excited, but here's the prize. Today I'm giving away this entire Urban Decay eyeliner, mascara, and all-nighter spray. So you'll get a bunch of different colorful mascaras as well as the eyeliners that coordinate with the colored mascara. You'll also get a special effects colored mascara in black. So if you don't like colored mascara, you'll still get a normal one and then the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All you have to do is make sure you go over to my Instagram account at Serene Wu. Check out my Insta stories for exactly how to enter, but it's going to be just like last week. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you watch my stories and also make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. And once you've done that, just um, leave me a comment saying entered with your Instagram handle. So when I pick, I can make sure that you entered and that you're following me on Instagram, that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and um, just cross, cross reference. Cause I know a lot of you guys have different YouTube handles versus Instagram handles. So just make sure you're following me, Instagram, subscribe to YouTube, go over to my Instagram stories and watch it. And then leave me a comment in this video saying entered with your Instagram handle. Exact same thing as last, last week, okay? Uh, super simple, really easy, really fun. And I will announce the giveaway winner because I'm gonna be out of town and I'm pre-filming, I will announce the giveaway winner for the Urban Decay um, little eyeliner mascara set when I pick the winner next week and I'll announce it over on Instagram. So I'll DM the winner and I'll announce it on my Insta stories. So make sure you're watching my Insta stories to find out who won. Please don't message me or direct message me about entering or about um, who the winner is because I will announce it in Insta stories when it's confirmed. Okay, so until... Um, until Sunday, I'll see you guys right back here for a new video every Tuesday and Sunday. And thank you so much for watching till the end. As always, I hope my video just helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. I really appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys back here for a new video on Sunday. Bye!